In CLL, it's uh, often difficult to uh, have the precise timing for starting a treatment because uh, you are ready to start the treatment and then some patients have pulmonary infections and you have to delay the treatment. And so uh, we decided to explore a little bit more these patients and we saw uh, that uh, uh, by doing some bronchoalveolar uh, uh, lavage and, uh, and fibroscopy, we found out uh, that several of these patients had uh, uh, pulmonary uh, localization of CLL. So we tried to characterize beta and uh, we saw that uh, these patients who are all progressive patients have uh, some uh, alterations at the CT scan that could be recognized once you know what they look like and also that uh, it's uh, restricted to unmutated patients with some kinds of uh, genetic alteration. So we're going to go further into uh, that uh, study, but already it, uh, uh, it's a signal that uh, when a patient has uh, repeated infection, maybe uh, it's uh, a good idea to go and give some treatment as soon as possible because once the patient have been treated they have less infection because you have reduced uh, the CLL infiltration of the organ.